Introduction to Geometric Proofs. So geometric proofs involve deductive reasoning and we use facts and definitions and properties and logic to help us uh, prove things uh, to be true. But in order to, to prove things to be true, we, we can't assume, we can't assume some things. So if we're given a diagram, some diagram like this, we can't assume that this is a right angle or this is a right angle. We can't assume that this line is parallel to this line unless we're given parallel arrows on those lines to show that those lines are parallel or 90 degree symbols on the angles that are supposed to be 90 degrees. Some things we can assume though are all lines are straight. All lines are straight, Is that's, that's allowed. We're allowed to assume that so you don't have to think, oh, what if the line's curved? And if we had a point on the line, we could assume that, that line is straight and that point just lies, lies on the line. And then the angle that is around that point is 180 degrees. That's, that's okay to assume that as well. Now, when we are proving something, let's say we have something like this, where we have two lines that cross over, and we have 2x and 74 degrees. We need a statement, something that the, we're stating, and the reason on why that statement has to be true. So here, this angle equals this angle because we have vertically opposite angles on these two straight lines and we know vertically opposite angles are equal. So the statement we can make is that 2x must equal 74 degrees. That's our statement. Now we need a reason on why that statement's true. And our reason is that vertically opposite angles are equal. So when we make those reasons, sometimes we're allowed to use abbreviations like this one, angles and some abbreviations you can use are angle, triangle, parallel, and perpendicular. Then this doesn't this doesn't solve anything for us because we just know 2x equals 74. If we wanted to find x, we could just divide both sides by 2. And we could say that therefore x must equal 37 degrees. So again, this is another symbol. When we're concluding, something we're proving are the three dots formed in a triangle means therefore. So we have our, this was our reason. Uh -huh.